Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Discipling Ministries, the place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. And we welcome you to your midday manor. Um, amen. Uh, it's been a while since we've been on, uh, but glory to God uh, that, that he's faithful and that he's kept uh, each of you. Amen. Um, for another opportunity, or as we say in the, in the body of Christ, for a time such as this. <laughs> Amen. And so, um, but we've been on a series of, and, and we, that, that we've been on at, at great length. Um, uh, I, I kind of feel like this, this today is the final day of that, um, unless the Lord say otherwise. But uh, we're going back to Revelations, uh, Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3. And we've really been talking about, uh, we went through verses 14 through 19. Again, verses 14 through 19. Revelation 3, verses 14 through 19. And it says, uh, And to the angel of the church of the Leodicean write, These things says the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Verse 17, because you say I am rich, have become wealthy, and have, and have need of nothing, and do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire that you may be rich and white garments, that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see. Final verse, 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Amen? And so once again, amen, Revelation 3, verses 14 through 19. And uh, for, for those that, 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 that have gone through this with us, uh, again, I appreciate you staying the course. Amen. I believe that God has been speaking to us. Um, we built this thing on the premise of, of, of saying that uh, the way we have come to know uh, the body or the church today, the place we call the church, uh, the four walls or whatever, is that the way we look at it, even the leadership, is that that thing needs to die. Amen. It needs to die. I didn't say the church needs to die, but the way we look at it, the way we see it, amen, needs to die. Amen. And, and that, that the kingdom may live, that the kingdom may thrive, that the kingdom of God may be manifested in the land. Amen. And so uh, in saying all of that, amen, uh, I, I, I really need us to, 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 to grab a hold of this, amen, continue to uh, uh, um, uh, observe uh, consider the word of God, and, and we'll go from there, amen? So the last verse that we left off with, amen, uh, was verse 18, was verse 18. That was part five, and so this is part six. So once again, verse, verse 18, I'm just going to read it, read it to us again. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire that you may be rich and white garments that you may be clothed that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed. And anoint your eyes with eyes that you may see. Amen. And so one of the things that, that, that I, I, I do remember um, kind of telling us about, amen, uh, uh, is, is that, amen, one of the things that I remember telling us about is that, um, you know, when he says uh, that I counsel you to buy from me, amen, he said, I counsel you to buy from me. And I began to tell us that, you know, the thing that he was trying to tell them is that, listen, your money is no good with me, amen, and that you can't, you can't, you can't buy this, amen, that, that, it's, it's, that that's not how it works. And I began to sh uh, show us and tell us that he's really, that he was talking about uh, a need for, uh, 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 for the people, amen, to give themselves to him, amen, that, that, that we may be refined, amen. He said, I count you to buy from me gold refined in the fire. So, but he, but, uh, but he, he, he paralleled. Uh, um, the goal and us, amen, is that, that we come to him, amen, and that we be refined, all right? So, again, just, just want to make sure that, that, that we remember that, amen. He says that you may be rich 
uh, and white garments, that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed. And anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see. And so I, uh, I also talked about how this eye salve that they sold that came out of this region that they used to, that, you know, that they were using. And he was saying, hey, basically that eye salve that you're selling, you're making money with, yep. Yeah. He said, but yeah. that ain't going to fix your, your, your eyesight with me. You need me to anoint your eyes. Amen. And so another thing that I would tell us, amen, is that uh, anytime you see the word anoint, just, just remember, as you go throughout the scriptures, normally he's talk, this thing is, is talking about oil, amen. So in, in other words, he's saying, but that oil represents the presence of God. So here you, he, he says, hey, so let the presence of, 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 of God, you know, let, let put this on your eyes, amen, that you may see, that the, that, you, that the glory of God, the presence of God, he said, this will cause you to see. Amen? And not this stuff that, that you're using. Amen? So remember, he's talking to the church. All right? So, uh, amen. Here we are. Amen? Uh, we're picking up at verse 19. Verse 19. Verse 19. Amen? We left off at 18. Amen? So, uh, here we are. He says, as many as I love, amen, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Now, I love that, amen, but see, but, but in order for us to really grab that, amen, this, you know, that sometimes you got to back it up a little bit, amen, and, and so our backup is, again, back to 18, just to say, he says, I counsel you to buy from me, amen, and so, again, he said, buy from me, so, again, uh, understand our ability uh, uh, to obtain for ourselves, amen, to do good for, you know, to do for ourselves, you know, um, the fact that I'm able to take care of my own family, the fact that, you know, I'm healthy, I can do it. All that stuff is good. But the thing that we have to understand, <coughs> excuse me, is that uh, none of that has an influence on, on, on my spirituality. Amen. None of that has an influence. Amen. And so what do I mean? The thing that, that he's telling them is that, listen, you've been able to do all this stuff on your own, amen. He's talking to the church now. You've been able to do all this stuff on your own, but I need you to understand this, that your self-sufficiency, amen, is good in the natural, but it does nothing for you in the spiritual, amen. So uh, uh, being self-sufficient, hallelujah, amen, is not, uh, 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 it's, it's not a good thing uh, 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 spiritually, amen. Yeah, we need to be able to take care of ourselves. Yeah, we need to be able to do for ourselves and all that. But but we need to understand that we need God. You say, so what are you talking about? Because if we back it up a little bit more until 17, remember they said, they said that I am rich, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing. So in, in their being self-sufficient, they saying, well, we don't need you either. Amen? So what he's telling them, okay, you do need me. That's why I'm telling you, I'm, I'm counseling you to come by from me. Amen? I hope we understand it. So he goes on to say, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Amen? Be zealous and repent. Amen? And so what he's saying is, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. So when I begin to look at that, as many as I love, the thing that, 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 I, that, that I can't help but get from this is that he's saying, listen, I, because I, I, we got to know, he just went through seven churches. He just went through seven churches now. He, he talked to all these different seven churches, and here he's at the last church, the church of, of, of the Laodicean, and he says, as many as I love. So he's saying, listen, yes, I done told you the things that I found wrong about you. Yes, I done told you that you messed up. Yeah, I done told you that you need to fix this. And fix. So he, but he says, as many as other words, but I still love you. I still love you. So he said, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. And he said, so he said, listen, he said, yep, I don't, I don't went through this whole litany of things. I don't went through this, all, all this stuff telling this church, telling that church, telling this church. I have done that. He said, but as many as I love, amen, I rebuke. Amen. And so what he again, so the thing for us as the church, the thing that we need to understand is this, amen. Because remember the title now. This is kingdom versus the church. And so the thing that he has this problem against the church, amen, not the kingdom. It's because and, and that's where I'm telling us the way we see the church has to die because the, obviously he has a problem, amen, with the church. Amen? In the way we see it, there is a way the church is supposed to function, and that's why he begins to rebuke 
and he begins to check in the church because there is a way, whether we want to accept it or not. We say, well, just because we don't do it like them, or they do it like this, or this is their method, and this is that. There is a way. Come on, somebody. Amen? The kingdom versus the church. So he goes through this whole thing of talking to the seven churches, and he's telling them all these things, and he says, as many as, uh, uh, as, many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. So we have to understand the thing that he's trying to tell us is this. He's saying, listen, he said, I'm talking to you, amen, I'm giving you these corrections, I'm identifying these things for you because I love you. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And I bless God for his loving. Amen. He says, I'm revealing, I'm, I'm revealing, amen, what needs to be fixed, amen, because I love you. Hallelujah. He says, I'm telling you about these things, amen, call your church. I'm telling you about this thing that, that you, that, this, this thing that you call a church, the, the way we look at the church, the way we, we look at our leaders. I'm telling you, I'm telling you all these things, amen, because I love you. Amen. I'm rebuking. I'm chastising. I'm, I'm trying to fix all these things because I love you. Amen. The kingdom versus the church. Amen. He says, because I rebuke and I chasten, amen, doesn't mean I don't love you. Amen. It's because I do love you. Amen. It's the reason why I'm bringing correction. It's the reason why I'm chastening. It's because I love you. Amen. I hope we see in this. Amen. Once again, 19, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Amen. And so, uh, I, 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 and I would just say this. I, I, don't, I don't know how others feel about it, but to me, amen, to understand that, that listen, he says, uh, to not have God to chasten me, amen, or to not have God to rebuke me, amen, that's, that's a scary thought. Hallelujah. Amen. At this place in my life, amen, that's a scary thought because I know the scripture says that he'll turn you over to a reprobate mind. Amen. In other words, amen, he'll give up on you. <laughs> amen. And so I don't want God to turn, to, to turn me over to a reprobate mind or give up on me. So keep on chastising. Keep on rebuking me. That lets me know you love me. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we understanding? The kingdom versus the church, amen, the kingdom versus the church. And so, again, when we look back at this particular church, amen, the, the, the Leogistian people, amen, we know, again, that, that they had the, 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 the finances, oh, man, uh, amen, that they, they, they were doing certain works and, up, and all this other stuff. But he said, but, yeah, I still see you, and I see that you're neither cold nor hot. Amen. So he began to talk about the lukewarmness. Now, we talked about all that, but the thing that I'm trying to tell us is that there is a difference between the kingdom and the church. There's a difference now. And you say, well, what is that? Amen. So let's go back to 19. He said, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. So let's understand. What is he, what is he really saying? Okay. He said, I rebuke and I chasten. So what, what, what does it mean to rebuke? Amen. And that word rebuke means to reprimand, to warn. To forbid, to admonish, or unblemished. Amen? Repr uh, uh, once again, to rebuke. Amen? That word rebuke. It means to reprimand, to warn, to forbid, to admonish, or unblemished. And so when we look at that, again, he says, I'm talking to you. I'm doing all this, amen, because I love you. And, the, and so we have to understand what he's saying, amen? He said that I'm reprimanding you, church. He said, hey, I'm getting on you, church. He said, I'm warning you, church. He said, I'm forbidding you to stop doing this and do this, hey, church, amen. He said, I'm admonishing you to do this, amen. And that last one, he said, unblemished. And see, we, all, we quote the scripture often and say that he's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle or without blemish, amen. And so, so how does the church know that it's blemished or unblemished unless that thing is revealed, amen, unless God tells us. And so that's why he rebukes, amen, to let us know that there is a blemish, amen, to let us know. And, and therefore, because we know, and, and if we uh, obey, then we can be unblemished, amen, through the rebuke. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. So I, I bless God for this. Amen. Thank God for the rebuke. Hallelujah. He said, as many as I love, I rebuke. So God, I thank you that you love me enough to rebuke me. Jesus. Amen. Even the church, to rebuke the church. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. He, that's rebuke. So let's look at chasten. Amen. He said, I chasten those. Amen. And that word means to decide, to convict, to instruct. To afflict, to educate, amen, or to discipline. 
So he says, not only am I reprimanding you, not only am I warning you, amen, but I'm educating you, amen. I'm disciplining you, <laughs> amen. He says, I'm, 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 I'm instructing you, amen. And so, I, man, I love this, amen. And so we have to re- understand that, again, when rebuke comes, amen, this is what happens when, 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 when chastening comes, this is what he's doing. He is trying to fix us, amen, to, 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 that we look like him. Amen. That's what, that's why the scripture says, let this mind be in you. Amen. So we can have the mind of Christ. Amen. We can think like he thinks. We can see like he like he said, because who is he? He is the king. Amen. He is the king of kings, the Lord of lords. And so, therefore, when we think of him as king, amen, and we look and say, okay, he's king. Amen. A king has a dominion. In other words, a king has a kingdom. Amen? But see, when we look at our church, and I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you, amen, I don't care what church you belong to, amen, we can, we, can, we, can, we can, you know, get technical and all the other stuff, but I'm telling you, our churches are ran by man. Hallelujah. Amen? Now, I'm not saying that the church never does anything right or that God is never pleased with the church, amen? But I'm telling you, amen, that's why the, 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 the music minister, amen, got so much privilege in the church, amen, because they're able to play, amen? And therefore, the king don't even get to do what he want to do because the music minister, amen, is doing what they want to do, amen? The king don't get to have dominion because the apostle or the pastor already have their set out plan, amen, already made up their mind, I'm not going to preach like this, I'm not going to teach like this, I'm only going to do this, amen, and therefore the king, amen, who has dominion does not have the, uh, is not afforded the opportunity, amen, to, 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 to take over and deal with his bride, which is called the church, hallelujah, amen, because we're in the way, amen, we're doing what we do, amen, but then again, the difference between the kingdom versus the church, amen, God is calling us, amen, that's why he says that, 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 that the kingdom is within you, and because the kingdom is within us, amen, that's why we are to manifest the kingdom in the church, hallelujah, amen, but all too often the church is, is just having church, hallelujah, amen, but we're not manifesting the kingdom, amen, we're not manifesting what the king has dominion to do what he want to do, and, and, and I'm telling you, sometimes we get so caught up in being excellent, amen, we are excellent church, God is, you know, he does everything, and, 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 and these are the end in order, but when God comes, in, and if it come in as a mighty Russian wind, and things begin to happen, amen, or, or, and, and we say that's out of order, amen, but we see it in the scripture, amen, where people begin to uh, speak in tongues, where big things begin to happen, we would say that's out of order in today's church, amen, why, because the kingdom, amen, the king does not have dominion in our churches today, amen, the kingdom versus the church, hallelujah, amen, that came from a different place right there, hallelujah, amen, (laughs) but I'm telling you, amen, the kingdom versus the church, part six, hallelujah, amen, so again, verse 19, he said, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, amen, I rebuke and chasten, so again, he reprimands, he warns, he forbids, he admonishes, amen, uh, uh, he, he removes the blemish, amen, he gives us what we need to remove the blemish, amen, that's why he's telling us what's wrong, hallelujah, amen, and chasten, amen, to decide, to convict, to instruct, to afflict, to educate, or discipline, hallelujah, so God, we thank you for that, amen, but now this last part, hallelujah, he says, therefore, be zealous and repent. And I love that. You always hear me say about the therefore, because anytime we look at therefore, amen, we need to understand everything that happened but that, that brought us to the therefore. He say, now, since I done told you about yourself, amen, since I done read you your rights, amen, since I done told you that this is wrong, that's wrong, since I done told you what to fix, since I done told you about your heart condition, since I done told you about this, since I done told you about, he said, he said, therefore, Therefore, since I did all that, he says, be zealous <laughs> and repent. Amen? And so, the, again, I, I, I love that, amen? He, but, but see, the thing that we have to understand is what he's trying to tell us, really, is, that, is, is he said, now that I done told you all that, make a decision. Huh. Jesus. Amen? Come on, kingdom versus the church, part six. He said, now that I done told you all that, make a decision. And see, because well, what I'm telling us is sometimes when you start talking about chastening, re, uh, uh, rebuke, and all that kind of stuff, amen, when you look at uh, uh, the people as a whole, amen, now, you, you, you talk to a child, amen, you spank a 
child, amen, you rebuke a child, amen, and, and next thing you know, a- after an hour or so, y'all loving on each other, they hugging on you, I love you, I love you, and, and so forth and so on, they, everything is back, amen, and so, but you knew you had to rebuke that child, amen, or you had to chasten that child because it was for the greater good, amen, it needed to be done. Hallelujah. But I'm telling us, as we get grown and in Christ, we don't want nobody to rebuke us. We don't want nobody to chat. We don't want nobody to tell us nothing, especially leadership. Hallelujah. I know this already. I got my own relationship with God. I don't even know. But I'm telling you, he says he chastens and he, he rebukes those he loves. As many as I love, I rebuke and I chasten. Amen. And, because, and, and so if we would embrace or adhere to the chastening, amen, we can get to the therefore. Hallelujah. He said, therefore, since I done told you all that, since you done heard it, and you know, amen, what needs, what needs to be done in order to fix it, he says, make a decision. Hallelujah. Make a decision. Make a decision. Amen. Now that you know that your works can't get you in with me, because I know your works are neither cold nor hot, because we, he said, make a decision. Amen. He says, he, he goes, he, he says, hey, 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 look, 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 look. He says, I know, amen, uh, 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 that, you, you know, now that you know your money can't spend with me, <laughs> amen, make a decision. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, now that you know all the networks that you in, all the people that you know, amen, in, 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 in your big old church, because this person own a business, that person own a business, you got this going on, they got this, they know this person, they know that. He said, all that. He said, now that you know, can't nobody grease the skids for you, amen. He said, make a decision. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. He said, because you attend church service, amen, just because church is a hobby to you, amen, because you've been taught to go to church, amen, it don't mean that you can get in with me, amen. Uh, so I need you to make a decision. Hallelujah. Amen. And so he's telling us to make a decision. He said, therefore, be zealous and repent. And, 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 and to repent, amen, is a decision. Hallelujah. But he's also saying, I need you to be zealous about it. In other words, don't come with your head hung down. Amen. Don't, 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 don't come thinking that you're doing me a favor. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, but, I, but make a decision and repent. Hallelujah. Make a decision. Repent. Fix it. Amen. I gave you instruction to fix it. I've admonished you. I've warned you. I've reprimanded you. Amen. To fix it. So fix it. Make a decision. Repent and fix it. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. The kingdom versus the church. Once again, amen. Kingdom, king's dominion. God, and, 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 and again, we can fool ourselves into thinking, amen, that God has dominion in our ministries and in our, in our little church buildings today, but I'm telling you, we don't. That's why when we come in, we're already looking at our watches, amen. In other words, I'm looking at my watch because I, 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 I'm on a set time. It has nothing to do with what God wants to do or how God wants to move in our services, amen. In other words, the king does not have dominion. Why? Because it's church. Hallelujah. Amen. This is church. This is how we do church. This is what church looks like. Amen. We come in, we do this, we do that, with us. but what about what the king says? Hallelujah. So once again, that's why the church, amen, can fit in the kingdom, but the kingdom just can't fit in the church. Amen. Because we don't even want it. Amen. We have our rules. We have the, the things we have set. We have our program. It don't take God all day to do nothing. Amen. But what if you want to take all day? Hallelujah. Amen. That's another question for another day. Amen. So, and, and, amen. And I feel a need to go on and read this. I'm going to read this, and, and then I'm going to get off of this. That last verse, that last verse, amen. I'm going to read 19, and then I'm going to read 20. 19 again. He says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. So in other words, he says, make a decision. Because if you make a decision and you do the things that I tell you to do, amen, you can dine with me. You can be with me and I'm with you. But in other words, all we're doing is playing church, amen. We're not even connected to the kingdom, amen. But he says, behold, I stand at the door and knock if anyone hears my voice. So if you hear my voice, if you hear my reprimand, if you hear my warnings, if you hear, amen, my instruction, if you hear my conviction, amen, open the door, Jesus. He said, I will come in. 
and dine with you, amen, and you with me. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, I'm going to 21, amen, and I think we're going to go on down to 22. He says, to him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my, on my throne, amen. I will grant, listen, I will grant to sit with me, amen, with me on my throne as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. And so the thing that Jesus is trying to tell us, amen, listen, the, again, kingdom versus the church, what the kingdom is trying to tell us is this. He says, to him who overcomes, I will grant to, I will grant to sit with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. Remember, I began to tell us about gold being refined in the fire and that this is what he desires of us, amen, to be refined, amen. That's why he gives us instruction. That's why he chastens us. That's why we go through things in life, amen, to be refined. But he says even in his refining, he overcame, and he got to sit with his father, amen. So he said if we go through the fire, amen, and overcome, he will give us the same benefit that he received, amen. So don't think we're going to go through this life without having to go through the fire, without having to go through some stuff and overcome some things, amen, through education, through discipline, through instruction, through conviction, through reprimand, through warning, amen, through admonishment, amen, that God is going to do these things. Jesus is going to, that the king is going to ensure that we're ready to sit on the throne with him. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen? But he doesn't stop there. Verse 22, he says, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Amen? So once again, to the church. And I believe that everyone under the sound of my voice that's listened to this thing, amen, whether they belong to a church or they attend every now and then or they say, I know the Lord or whatever, he's talking to you. Hallelujah. He's talking to me. Amen. He's telling us, amen, uh, uh, that, that, that again, uh, when we go back to the title, amen, that there's a difference between the kingdom and the church, amen, and he's trying to tell us to have a kingdom mindset instead of a church mindset, amen. He says he's coming back for his bride, which is the church, amen. He's coming back for his bride. That's his. That belongs to him, amen, but we've made it ours. Come on, somebody, amen. This is not ours. Amen. We're in love with our church. We love church. Amen. We love our preacher. We love, amen. We ought to give honor where honor is due, but that belongs to God. We belong to the kingdom. We are kingdom people. We are king's kids. We belong to the king, not to a church. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. The kingdom versus the church. 